Hello everyone. Today we will introduce a work which is Cache in Hand, the expander-driven CXL prefecture for next generation CXL SSD. With the rise of the CXL interface, there have been proposals for CXL SSD based on this technology. However, there are opinions stating that it is difficult to use in real systems due to limitations in its repurpose. Not least, we have discovered the potential to address these repurposing issues. We observe the potential to improve repurposing by prefetching CXL SSD data. However, implementing this in practice was not easy. Firstly, the prefetching hardware suitable for CXL SSD required a large area. Secondly, in cases where there are multiple CXL SSDs, the repurposing was not consistent. In this paper, we aim to design a prefecture specifically tailored for CXL SSD. The proposed prefecture is designed as an expander-driven CXL prefecture. By leveraging collaboration between the host CPU and CXL SSD, we were able to address the hardware area issues. Furthermore, we recognize that the performance variation in CXL SSD is caused by the CXL topology. To address this, we designed the prefecture to consider this end-to-end -end latency. Before we delve into the main topic, let me provide a brief overview of the CXL interface and CXL SSD. Since the CXL interface is based on PCIe, it provides a configuration space that can be accessed for reading and writing using the CXL.io protocol. Furthermore, when CXL devices are mapped into the system memory space, they can be read from or written to using the CXL.mem protocol. One of the reasons why the CXL interface has been gaining more attention recently is because memory devices themselves also support case Korean's guarantees. In other words, memory devices have also been included in the cache Korean's domain. In addition, CXL allows for the connection of multiple switches in a multi-layer configuration. This has enabled the acquisition of large-scale memory capacity. By leveraging CXL protocol, Kyoxia and Samsung proposed CXL SSD proof of concept. However, current POCs are designed to solve slow flash write performance, not the repurpose. By the way, is there any way to improve the repurpose of CXL SSD? We have analyzed the potential of CXL SSD to find possible solutions. Since no CXL SSDs are currently available, we extract latency from in-house CXL hardware RTO modules and use full system simulation. Note that for this analysis, we design CXL SSD with the ultra low latency flash, which exhibits three microseconds of read latency. Let's compare the performance of local DRAM and CXL SSD to understand the CXL SSD's potential. We have selected workloads that can be evaluated by changing special locality and temporal locality. You can understand that as you move towards diagonal ends of this graph, the locality decreases. Here are the evaluation results and let's analyze them. In low locality scenarios, CXL SSD performance is 738% slower than local DRAM. However, as locality increases, CXL SSD's average latency approaches that of local DRAM. When CXL SSD operates with high locality, it is only 35% slower than local DRAM on average due to LLC hit. Therefore, we argue that enhancing cache hit rates with CXL prefecture is vital for improving user experience with CXL SSD. Then how could we achieve local DRM-like performance with CXL Prefecture? We focus on Prefecture's accuracy and find out the appropriate value with regular memory access scenarios. As we can chat with this research, we have to ensure CXL Prefecture accuracy more than 90% to achieve local DRM-like performance. 
However, the conventional rule-based prefectures cannot be used for CXLSSD. Since there is an accretion limit that cannot exceed a certain level, therefore we have to employ ML-based prefetching, which supports higher accuracy compared to the rule-based one. Then could we directly use ML-based prefetcher in a rear system? No, we have to consider the hardware area of ML-based prefetcher. To achieve higher accuracy, the prediction should be conducted based on a large amount of data access history. While additional space is also needed to perform the ML-based operations, not only for the hardware area, we also have to take care of prefetch timelines. Let's suppose there is a prefetcher with a prefetching accuracy exceeding 90%. Since the prefetcher will predict future memory access, we expect 90% of LLC cache hits. However, unfortunately, we can experience frequent LLC cache misses in the CXL-based system. Since there could be one or many CXL switches on the data pass between CPU and CXL SSD, if the prefetcher does not take into account the latency of the CXL switch, the data may not be ready in the LLC with a suitable time frame, leading to cache misses. We propose an expander-driven prefetcher called expand to solve both hardware error issues and prefetch timelines. Since SSD provides the large form factor and computing power, we delegate cache prefetching decisions to the underlying CXL SSD. And the point side decider performs decision-making tasks such as prefetch location prediction and prefetching timing prediction. For information required by the endpoint side decider is applied by the host side reflector, and it is a reflector's primary function. For reflector design, we adopt buffer-based prefetcher concept to generate CXL transactions after LLC controller behaviors. From now on, I'll go over the expand design one by one. Let's check the location predictor first. To support location predictor, we require bi bidirectional communication on CXL. For this, we choose M2S transactions request and S2M transactions BI snoop. Since a reflector transfers both program counter and memory address, location predictor use both information. We call this as heterogeneous prediction algorithm, and thanks for its multimodality, we can achieve higher accuracy than other ML-based prefetchers. Let's check how reflector manages the prefetched data and why it is designed as buffer-based. The loop complex side reflector maintains a buffer for each endpoint device. When a prefetch request arrives, the BI's new request is held in the buffer. If a miss occurs in the LLC, the LLC side reflector checks if the target data is present in the buffer. This buffer-based prefetcher allows for allows the timestamp information to be transmitted to the CXL SSD regardless of LLC miss or hit status. At last, let me simply go over how time predictor can note in end-to-end -end latency. During PCIe enumeration, system checks all the CXL components in system. Therefore, we can know how many switches between CPU and the CXL SSD. Before concluding the presentation, I'd like to share the evaluation result with you. We choose graph algorithm as an Allegro memory access scenarios and compared our expand with the conventional rule-based and ML-based prefetchers. The purpose expand demonstrate a performance improvement of 3.5 times compared to systems that do not utilize prefetching. And it is better than the conventional rule-based prefetcher as much as 2.1 times. And also the other MA-based prefetcher as much as 1.5 times.